Hey everybody, welcome back to Pushing Pixels. I'm your host, Sam Mestis. Um, we're going to do something kind of fun today. We're going to talk about this girl's abs and how we can adjust focus and lighting on uh, images to sort of change the way they were lit from how they were originally lit. Um, so let's get started. We're just going to jump off and do this. I have this picture of this woman, and we're going to celebrate her abs. Now, the key to these, uh, the key to abs is lighting. And if you can, if you have great abs and you need someone to light them for you, just get a couple guys to walk around with you and uh, downlight you all day long. Um, you'll have highlights here and then shadows there, and that's how abs work as far as lighting goes. So uh, let's get started here real quick. I'm going to use the quick select tool. Not the magic wand right there, quick select. And I am going to isolate her from the background. And I'm just going to do a very quick select. Um, lucky for me, she's it's pretty contrasty. So I don't have to worry about finding edges. Photoshop is doing a pretty decent job of that. And let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that interior. we got to get that part right there. And uh, looking pretty good here. And let's see if we can get all this stuff up in there real quick. I'm just going to do a real quick sort of dirty selection. I'm not too worried about specifics because we're going to put her on sort of a crazy background anyway. And uh, so it doesn't really matter. Um, that's a good selection, I think. I'm going to go into a select and mask mode here real quick and check. I'm working on the overlay version. It's kind of my favorite version to work on. And I can see I've missed just a couple parts around this towel, so I'm going to uh, take care of that. I'm going to just cruise around her elbow here just a little bit, clean up that. And maybe right here, other than that, it looks it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know what that what happened there. Let's fix that. And uh, maybe get rid of that. I don't know. All right, looks pretty good. Um, I'm happy with that. It's a nice, clean, fast selection. For this lesson, it's fine. I'm going to choose a layer with mask when I'm done here in the outputs. And I'm going to select that and hit OK. And there she is, um, separate from my background, looking pretty good. Um, we're going to keep that for now. One of the cool things we're going to do, though, is I am going to take this image and duplicate it. So I'm going to have two images of the same thing. If I go up to Image and go down to Duplicate, I can click that guy. And I'm just going to take that name. That's fine. So now I have two images of the same thing. Um, this is my working image, and I have this copy. It says Copy right there. And what I'm going to do is we're going to use the uh, HDR toner. So I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, HDR Toning. And it's going to want to crush the layers. That's fine. So we can do that. No big deal. And you can see it's already toned her a bit. Um, if I turn off the preview, you can see kind of what the toner's default settings are. However, I'm going to use one of mine, and it's the one I gave my class. It is called Sam's General Toning, or it's the HDR toner I gave you in class. Either one will work. And when I click it, it's going to get super, super contrasty. And now look at her abs, looking pretty good. I'm going to click OK and keep that. All right. I need this image now back into my working image, so I'm going to hold down my Shift key and drag my layer all the way across to my working document, holding down Shift and let go, and it will line up perfectly. I do not need this anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. So in my working document, there we go. Okay. Uh, we need to change the blend mode, first of all. So uh, what's our blend mode going to be? First of all, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to check that. I'm going to apply my layer mask just for the sake of argument. Apply layer mask just so I have that. There we go. All right, so my toner's above. You can see I have this great background and this outer glow. Don't really need that. So what we're going to do is we're going to clip that toner layer to this layer right here. This will be uh, the clipping mask for the layer above it. So if you hold down your Alt key and drag your mouse in be right between the layers, you're going to get the clipping icon. So hold down your Alt key and then click and it will clip to that layer. Or if you want, you can go up to Layer, uh, Create Clipping Mask. It's right there as well. And there you go. Either way, we'll get you there. And uh, all we can see is uh, the blackest and whites, though. We need to set the blend mode for that. And we got a couple options. We could do overlay. Overlay's, uh, it's aggressive, it's pretty good, and it's interesting. We can try hard light. Hard light's also interesting. That's a whole other animal. 
Maybe I'll keep hard light. Either way, you could go. Maybe you can even do soft light if you wanted to. One of those three would work for her. I'm going to do hard light just so I get that super contrasty version of her. And uh, you can really see her abs a little bit more now. Her lines are a little bit more defined. Great. Let's put a uh, let's put a background on this. I gave my class this background right here. It's carbon fiber. It's from Fotolia, and uh, the watermark is fine because we're using this for education purposes. And with that background, I'm going to drag it over to my document, make sure it's in the behind everything, and I'm going to drag it down a little bit to get that watermark out of there. Don't need that. So that looks pretty cool. She's uh, offset from that thing pretty nice, actually. And I got some nice edging. Um, the other thing we need is uh, let's tech it up a bit. Let's give it sort of a, a tech feel. So the other image I gave him was these. These are all I got from a Cory Barker book, I believe. And uh, I'm not sure if I did on this one or not. Either way, I have it. And uh, we're going to lay it over this background. But it's a little bit hot and a little bit too much data. And I'm kind of more just interested in the whites. So uh, let's desaturate it. Control shift u will desaturate it. And uh, we get nice black and whites. Um, again, but it's averaged out pretty bad. And it's mostly grays and whites at this point. And if you pull up the levels, you can see the histogram. We're really sort of aiming mostly in the grays. So there are some whites, uh, virtually no blacks. So uh, having said that, I really want the whites. So let's, uh, let's do level it, Command L. And I'm going to drag the black slider over. And I'm going to level it to taste. And maybe I just kind of want this much data in there. That's not too bad. Drag my black slider over almost to the middle of this histogram. A little bit further past, and hit OK. That's pretty good. Let's uh, let me size this down so I can see everything. There we go. Let's drag our uh, our tech map here into our document. There we go, and it's sitting right there, right above the carbon fiber. Close this. We cannot see the carbon fiber right now, but if we change the blending mode here to screen, it's going to pop through. And now it gets a little techy, and it's kind of cool. Um, however, I do want this globe behind her, I want it on the other side of her. So I'm going to grab my little my tech background here and hit Command T for free transform. Handles are kind of out there a bit. And then I'm going to right click on the inside of my selection there and get this pop-up menu and hit flip horizontal. And that flops it over to the other side. Like that. I'll push it down a little bit. Um, not too bad. Looking pretty good already. Um, we need a logo for this. Uh, let's just say it's a Nike ad. This is the Nike logo I gave you folks. That's not it. That's it right there. It's um, black and white, which is not what I need. I need it, or it's black. I need it to be white, so I'm going to Command I and invert the color itself. Not Command Shift I, that's invert selection. Command I will invert your colors. Uh, black to white, and I am also going to drag this now over to my document and move it in place. I will free transform it. No, I don't need that anymore. It's a little bit big, so I'm going to free transform it down just a little bit. Command T and just grab a corner. I'm holding Shift and Alt when I do this. That way it constrains because if I don't, it's just it's, I'm wild and I don't want that. I want it to constrain. I'm going to put that Nike logo right there. Pretty cool. Um, Nike logo standing out a little weird. I'm going to put just a little bit of an outer glow behind it. I'm going to double click the Nike logo layer and get the layer styles box and just put some outer glow on it. Ooh, and that's already pretty good. Um, I just want it to be subtle. Nothing too crazy. I actually have the size up to 250 and uh, opacity up to 54. So it's pretty light. It is offsetting it a bit from the background though, so that's not too bad. I may kick the opacity up just a hair. Maybe a 60. There you go. So that's not too bad. Um, also on her, I'm going to put just a little bit of a drop shadow on her as well. Um, we'll do a couple things to her real quick. Uh, double click on that layer, pull up the layer styles. I'm going to put a little bit of a drop shadow. Um, let's see how distance. Yeah, since she's lit from the right mostly, I'm going to put it on the left. And I'm going to put the distance at 50. And let's just say the size. I'm going to soften it up again. Let's do the size at 20. And my angle is 64. It's, you know, to taste. Do it whatever you want. Whatever looks good to you. Um, I just put in a nice soft shadow. It's right behind her there a little bit. It's pretty subtle. And uh, one more thing I want to do is I kind of want to redirect the light a little bit. So let's hit Gradient Overlay. And you can already see what it's doing to the light. 
it's in this case it's kind of put the light on her lower half and hiding her upper half um, let's do it this way how about 90 degrees I want all the light to be kind of on her right side so here's what I got overlay opacity at 50 I'm doing a gradient black to white linear and angle at zero and you can see what's happening here and the scale is at let's just put the scale at 50 make it a nice even number for everybody and you can kind of see what's happening if I turn it off it's re sort of directing the light it's blowing her out a bit which isn't horrible I can reach into the I can reach into the image itself and redirect it and just drag it and slide it um, you can do it to taste whatever you think looks good on her and uh, I'll take that for now that's not too bad and uh, there you go here's our little nightcat not too bad nice little web ad sidebar web um, upper banner all that sort of thing it looks kind of cool and look at that we're into this one two three four five six whole not even six five layers got us this little ad very quick very fast and very stylized alrighty I'm done that was quick let's uh, get out of here you guys have a good day thank you so much